Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrew Wiley, Chief Executive of the uh, Costain Group. And, it's and what it really does for us as an organisation is also bring into sharp focus another major requirement, which is a skill shortage in our country. And that's why we're delighted to start today in the school, finding out some of the initiatives that are taking place to make sure that we've got the engineering skills, the management skills, the leadership skills, um, putting men and women to work. Um, delivering major infrastructure in our country. And so to more recently we've been looking at how we can contribute um, to society in terms of some of the socially excluded groups and how we can help um, break <coughs> barriers to um, employment. We talk now about wanting to transform business and transform communities and those two things are very clearly connected. And, and the way a lot of that is done is by businesses working together, collaborating, sharing what they know and working a little more closely to make the most enormous impact on the lives of the people, many of whom we can see today. The issues that we have with social uh, inclusion at this moment in time, those barriers are going to be removed and we get ourselves into the society that we all dream about in many places. Only 60% of the boys in the current year 11, that's the GCSE year, were in the UK. In um, particularly for us, we have three gangs that operate around um, our school, and it's quite a concern for all our parents because they're very, very reluctant to let their children play outside in case they get recruited. About three years ago, we had concerns that some boys were being recruited into gangs, um, so we did quite a lot of work with the police to, to ensure that children were safe. We did basic things really, we banned hoodies, we banned mobile phones, scarves, all of those things and that's why we introduced a very strict uniform policy. What we tried to do is look at what knowledge they've got about the world around them and use that so that they can relate it to science. We make science as exciting as possible and um, we present it to the children in practical and relevant ways. It's not always pencil and paper. Can you see the liquid then inside my dropper? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to drop it into the baking soda. All right. And then I'm going to find out um, and write down the reaction. So what happens? Did it fizz? Did it bubble? Did it do nothing? Stemnet is an independent charity that works closely with government to try and encourage more young people to take up science, technology, engineering and mathematics. It's all about trying to inspire, motivate and excite young people about those STEM subjects in a way that actually they think about taking up in the future STEM careers, many of which are around the table today in terms of those industries. The early intervention, the work with primary schools is absolutely key. Welcome to the um, National Bridge and Tunnels project we're doing in John Red with Skanska. Um, a place that we would hope some of the pupils from the Crest Academy might end up. And we're totally committed to making a difference uh, and delivering a legacy of skills also into the local community. There's a huge skills opportunity in terms of tunnels, and this is replicated throughout construction in terms of improving infrastructure meeting the national need. We've used this uh, simple triangle to illustrate uh, the strategy of Costain in terms of our skills strategy. But underpinning all that strategy, it's about individuals. And to us all, one of these guys, you know, every single one of you right now, um, I don't think you're any different to the people I met during the two weeks. You were all very, very inspirational people, and I wanted to become, you know, the person with shiny shoes and tie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had no idea how to get there. But these people answered my questions. And they told me that the uh, university wasn't the only way to go for the apprenticeship group, which is exactly what I wanted. So I literally spoke to this frontline supervisor and said, I like your job. <laughs> <laughs> What's the chances of uh, having, having a go? And uh, from Costa Aine, they've progressed from that. They've certainly from I think myself and a few other supervisors. It led to uh, doing a, a foreman's apprentice.
Firstly, what a great opportunity. It's not often you get a chance to actually take half a day out of your diary and actually get out there and really experience firsthand some of the things that you'll find in the community. One of the big lessons that we learn as, as business leaders there today is there isn't only a single route. It's not just all about university. It's not just all about getting that degree. It's not all just about going and pursuing a professional career. We should be opening up far, far more avenues than just that one single route that everyone seems to be fixed on. We need to be doing far, far more with the teachers. Somehow, I think it's incumbent on us as the businesses and the business leaders to try and find a way in to those young people, even the sort of eight-year-olds that we were at law school, so that they can aspire to be engineers.